Welcome back to Charlotte Clark's channel. I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a day with Optivia. Here is the before and after picture of me doing it for a couple months. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a vlog of what I eat with Optivia in a day. So it's about 7.41 and I'm going to make me a frosty mint chocolate serve in my Nutri Bullet. I love these. So let's get started. I'm going to make this up. Use a Nutri Bullet to make my shakes. Total game changer. So this is my minty frosty coffee. Something I started doing this week and it's been really helping me be more accountable on my water. It's taking a glass of water, drink it with my meal. There you go. Get your water in. So now the time is about 7.45, my first meal. Okay, time for my second meal. It's about 10.30 in the morning. I am cooking today some mashed potatoes. It's the roasted garlic creamy mashed potatoes. I'll show you real quick how I make it. I'm going to mix it up in my little teacup here Whoop. and then use a waffle because I like waffling my potatoes. I like to throw in a little egg whites and I do use a little bit of pan. So let me mix this up. I'm pouring in the mashed potatoes. It is powdery and it gets a little messy. Okay. You can do it in a bowl. You can do it however you want. I'm going to need to clean that up. I'm going to use a little egg whites. I put in about a teaspoon. You can get good at guesstimating. And then I'm going to add some water. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I am mixing this up. I think I put in a little bit too much water. But it will be okay. So normally it's thicker. Today it's not because I overdid it. So my waffle is heating up and I'm going to cook me some potatoes. So I'm going to spray on some pan. Be careful when you're using pan. You don't want to overdo it. Technically a serving size even though it says... So I'm going to put in my potato waffle and we'll cook this up. Pour in my potato waffle in the waffle maker and then it will probably overspill. It's okay. That's why I put a paper plate underneath my mini waffle maker. Isn't it cute? I love leopard. I got this off of Amazon. So when it's done cooking, the blue light will go off. So we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so this is what my waffle looks like. I'm going to take it out. And, and then I'll pour the second batch on. My second, try not to burn myself. So there's my first, it didn't fall apart, yay. Here is my second waffle, it turned out beautifully. We'll see if I don't have it fall apart. So, I guess putting a little bit too much water will make you have two, that's okay. All right, I got my waffles and they didn't fall apart waffles for my second meal about 10 30 so here it is my yummy delish so if you want you can always add as a condiment some ketchup sugar-free I like to use wall Walder's I think that's what it's called so bon appetit show you real quick how I make my third meal I'm gonna actually do what's called soaking because I'm gonna make some mac and cheese the cheesy butter mac I love this, my, one of my favorites. So I'm gonna open this up, put a little water, and show you guys the back. So it calls for about a half a cup of water, and then you nuke it, but I like soaking. So when my next meal is ready in about two hours, this can be my lunch, and I'll add a salad, I'll show you. Okay, so I am gonna just stir up my mac and cheese here. So once I have it good and stir, I'm going to put it in my fridge and then I'll eat it in a couple hours for my third meal. And this is usually my lunch. I like mac and cheese. It's really yummy. It fills me up. I'll throw a side salad with it. As I was preparing this video for you guys, I had a mishap 
with the bacon ranch. It was brand new. I twisted it and I forgot that I twisted it because this part was being a pain. And I sh was going to shake it and then, then you saw what was on my foot. <laughs> so back to I'll move that over. Back to making my lunch before I had the mishap with the ranch dressing. I have my mac and cheese. I'm going to actually put a little water in it and then stir it up and then nuke it in the microwave. I'm going to have some baby spring mix organic salad with modern bacon ranch dressing. And this has zero calories, but it will still count as a condiment. So I'm going to prep that up real quick. A little water in the cup. You can use a bowl and I'm going to stir it here. So I'm going to do this off camera and be right back. I stirred this up and this is the consistency, but it will thicken when I nuke it in the microwave. And I would warn you, watch it in the microwave because sometimes it will overfill. So keep a close eye on it. Here's some mac and cheese. I like mine a little bit more runny just because I can eat it like a soup, but I, I, I always do a little bit more water, but it's pretty tasty with salt and pepper. So I'm going to have that, then I'll have my water in check and my salad, get my part of my first lean and green in, and there you go. And it's about 140, so here's my third, third meal, right? <laughs> okay, so it is my fourth meal, four o'clock. I just got off work, so I am having, I love this chocolate mint cookie crisp bar, so good. So usually what I do when I, between now and my lean green meal, I'll probably start, we'll start fixing it. I work at home, so it's kind of a nice, you know, transition. It's going to suck when I have to go back in the office, though. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to chow this down and I'll start prepping dinner. Here is the recipe for tonight's dinner. I tweaked it. I made meatloaf Mexican salsa style. And here is... The okay, it's 9 o'clock and I'm going to make my last final meal. I'm going to make the... Uh, chocolate brownie and I'm going to also add PB2 in it. I'll show you my hack. Sorry for the bright light. My brownie mixing pretty um, stirred up. I'm going to zap it in the microwave for about a minute. It says for about 90 seconds but I like doing a minute because I like it more dewy. I'd rather have it undercook than overcook. Just how I like my brownies. This is my peanut butter, and my peanut butter is going to count as my snack. So I'm going to drizzle this peanut butter over the brownie when it's done cooking. Okay, here is my brownie. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the peanut butter. I see it? Oh my gosh. Sorry for the crap. Crappy aiming, you guys, but this looks so good. I've tried peanut butter different ways. I'll show you the finished product here in just a sec. This is my Reese's peanut butter cup. So good. Can't wait to eat this.